Alright, let's look at some uh, special products. Here we have uh, A plus B, all of that squared, is equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. And then we have another formula, A minus B, all of that squared equals A squared minus 2AB plus B squared. Now, let's let's use these formulas to multiply x minus 6 all of that squared so what we're going to do is we can see that x minus 6 squared is going to we're going to use this formula here a minus b squared so we can see that here is our a and the 6 is our B. So using this formula we're going to plug it into here. So we're going to have X squared minus 2 times X times 6 plus 6 squared. So this is going to give us X squared Minus, and then we have, and then we're going to multiply 2 times x times 6, which is going to be minus 12x plus 6 squared, which is 36. And here's our answer. Alright, let's take a look at another one. We have 4x plus 3y, all of that squared. So you can see we're going to use this formula, a plus b squared. Now you can see the 4x, that's our a. The 3y, that's our b. So plugging 4x in for a, we have 4x, and that's squared plus 2 times a so that's 2 times 4x times b b is 3y plus b squared so that's 3y squared so our final answer, we have 4x squared, that's going to be 16x squared plus, and then we, and then we're going to multiply this together. That's going to give us 2 times 4 is 8 times 3 is 24 and then x times y plus and then 3y squared is 9y squared and here's our final answer so these are our, these are our formulas here these two here that's to square a binomial. Let's take a look at another one. We're going to multiply a plus b times a minus b and that's just equal to a squared minus b squared. So if we look at this, the y, that's our a and the 3 is our b. So we're going to plug these two in for A and B. So that's going to give us Y squared minus B squared, which is 3 squared. So this is equal to Y squared minus 9. And this is our answer. Let's take a look at one more. We have 7x minus 2y times 7x plus 2y. 
Now notice in the formula it's plus and then minus. In our problem we have minus and plus. But we still use, it's still the same. It doesn't matter if the plus and the minus, which one comes first. So the 7x, that's our a. The 2y is our b. So plugging 7x in for a, we have 7x squared minus 2y squared. So that's going to give us 49x squared minus 2y squared. So that's 4y squared. And there's our answer. Okay. I hope this helped.